Hi, I'm Dr. Murdoch Kalegi. I'm a board certified emergency physician, author of several books, including The Everything Guide to Low Cholesterol, The Everything Guide to Preventing Heart Disease, and New Healthier You. I'm also the medical director for Wellness FX. Today we're going to talk about a topic that most people have heard of, but don't feel they really understand, and that's cholesterol. We're actually going to go beyond cholesterol. Because over the last several years, we've learned there are many different types of cholesterol that affect the body in different ways. To fully understand cholesterol, we're going to be using the Wellness FX platform and data from one of its members that have given us permission. On this screen, we see what's called the basic lipid panel. Now, what this is, is these are the basic types of cholesterol that we've understood over the last 20 years. First, there's the total cholesterol. Now, the total cholesterol is the composite of all the different types of cholesterol. In general, having a high total cholesterol, as this member did when they first started the program, is not good for your health, and you want to try and reduce it. What's important, though, is to make sure the cholesterol you lose is bad cholesterol, or cholesterol that's unhealthy for you and increases your risk of heart attack and stroke. This bad cholesterol can stick to your arteries and clog them up, blocking the essential flow of blood and transport of oxygen to organs such as your brain and heart, causing a stroke or a heart attack. The bad type of cholesterol is your LDL cholesterol. Again, this member, their original LDL cholesterol was very high, and through the program they managed to lower their LDL cholesterol. That's exactly what we want to see, that a reduction in total cholesterol come from a reduction in this LDL, or bad cholesterol. The good type of cholesterol is called HDL. And the important part of reducing your cholesterol is you don't want to reduce your HDL too much. You want to try to keep your HDL nearly flat, as this member has. The good cholesterol actually helps transport those plaques in arteries away from the walls of your blood vessels and help keep those tunnels of blood flow more open. Now these are some of the basic types of cholesterol, but what I want to really emphasize today is the many different types of bad cholesterol that we now understand. Looking at this member, we see that on this basic lipid panel, everything is green. Everything is in the optimal range. But the basic lipid panel doesn't tell everything. We know that half of people who have heart attacks have basic lipids in this optimal range. But if you examine these lipids further, these fats, you'll find that there are other risks. What we now understand is there are many aspects of bad cholesterol, or the LDL type of cholesterol. These include bad lipids, which are fats, or bad particles, or even harmful what are called lipoproteins, or proteins that bind to fats. These include the LDL particle count, certain subtypes of the bad cholesterol, lipoprotein little a, which we can measure both its mass and the amount of cholesterol in it, or apolipoprotein B. Sometimes certain genes can negatively affect some of these lipoproteins. So to truly understand one's risk for heart attack and stroke, you can't just look at the basic lipid panel. You have to look at the full picture to really understand the risk. And by understanding the risk, you can then act on it and do the sort of dietary, lifestyle, supplement, and occasionally medication interventions to improve your profile and significantly reduce your risk of a heart attack or stroke.